Hey, hello everybody. Good evening. I see Carla, well, two Carlas and Gamaliel. How is everything? Hello. Hello, how are you, Carla Cano? A little bad. <laughs> Why? What happened? Are you sick? Because, uh, yes, I feel sick. What is it? A cold or a flu? I have a headache. Oh, sorry. Maybe you, you should take some aspirins or something. Yeah, yes. Cool. I got it, but I don't know. I, I'm i not better yet. So you're not feeling very good now. Okay, I hope you feel better later on. Okay. Um, for today, we're going to continue what we were talking about yesterday. Um, we're going to be doing an example and also extra work for the four tenses, uh, present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present. Um, I don't know if you guys receive, um, I sent an email with all the, um, you know, the extra material that I created for you guys. Do you receive it? Yes, I, I receive it, teacher. Thank you very much. Yes, cool, cool. So it was in your email. Um, you know, it is according to the classes and according to your level. That's why I created it like that. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. let's be in. Let's see what we have for today. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to see, finish all the videos that um, Inglés Corporativo has for you. And then we're going to do the, um, you know, the exercises that, that I told you about yesterday. I hope that you, you did some um some practice on your own so let's see let me just go in where is it let me just go prepare it hmm. here it is cool now ready to share we're going to finish um section number four we're supposed to do that today. We're supposed to finish section number four. That's why I'm going to show you all the videos, okay? So, here it is. Uh, are you guys watching this? Yes. Very yes. Good. good, thank you. Okay, listen up and pay attention. This is going to be simple past statements, regular verbs. Let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study, studied, S-T-U-D-I-E-D. 
stay, stayed, s-t-a-y-e-d. Shop, shopped, s-h-o-p-p-e-d. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case we include an auxiliary verb didn't and because we have this auxiliary verb we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First we will add the subject I Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let me just point out some things here. Now, you watch. Okay, so we are saying in this particular examples, we are talking about statements, simple past statements. But do you understand what is a statement? Do you know what is a statement? 
Anybody? Anybody knows what is a statement? Oración. No. No, oración no. is sentence, sentence, sentence. Okay. So what is a statement? I don't know, teacher. Okay, so statements are, in Spanish, you can say it's, um, what is it? I forget, I forget, wait, wait, wait. In Spanish is aseveraciones, aseveraciones, statements. So, for example, you see here a, a statement, positive statements. You know, I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Um, notice that I'm making a lot of effort for you to listen very well to the, to the simple past verb being pronounced. Estoy haciendo uh, un esfuerzo más grande para que escuchen bien cómo se pronuncia el pasado, el verbo pasado, okay? So, these are positive statements. I studied, you watched, she stayed, we shopped, they exercised. And then we have negative statements. What did I say is a statement? What is a statement? Aseveraciones. Aseveraciones. Very good. Don't forget. So we have negative statements. For example, I didn't. You didn't. She didn't. We didn't. They didn't. So didn't means no. That means negative. So, so notice that in the negative statement, the verb stays regular, no past. Only in positive, they change to the past. But in negative, because we use the auxiliary did. We are using the auxiliary did, so they stay study, watch, stay, chop, exercise. Okay? Because we're using the auxiliary did in the negative. Also, when we do questions, we use the auxiliary did. So the bird doesn't change to that to the past. Okay. Any questions about this, guys? No, thanks. Anybody? No more questions? Okay, cool. So about what I want to do now is that we're going to practice, but the conversation. I want you to practice the conversation. What is the conversation? Here it is. Okay. Listen up to the conversation. I'm going to do it myself, and then I'm going to assign people to do it, okay? This is just Michael and Jennifer, okay? Listen up. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little bit tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, then my room and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV or what? I just watched television all weekend. Okay, so let's see. Let me see who's going to go. Sure. Yeah? Questions? Yes, laundry, what's the mean? Laundry, hacer la lavada, lavar la ropa, laundry, do the laundry. Thanks. Okay, any other question before we continue? No, okie dokie, moving on. So, next, next, uh, next, we're going to exercise, Carlos and Angel, you go. Uh, Carlos, you start. Okay. Hi Jennifer, did you did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired. Tired, tired, tired today. Really? Why? Really? No, no. Really? Re really? Why? 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 
Well, on Saturday, I ex exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaning, cleaning, cleaned, 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 cleaned mm -hmm. did laundry and shopped. Uh, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no. Oh, oh no, do we have a test today? A test today? I didn't study. Uh, I didn't I, study. I didn't study. I, I didn't study. I just watch, watch it. No, no, no. I just watched. I just watched. I just watched. Uh, television, all television all weekend. Television all weekend. Television all weekend. Okay. Let's see who's next. Uh, Gamaliel and Joanna. Gamaliel, you start, please. Okay. Hi, Joanna. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Tired, tired. Tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I, and I clean it. Clean. Did No, no clean it. Clean. Clean. Did laundry and shopping, shop and then shop, shop. and then I visit my Vis parents. Visited, visited, visited my parents. So, what what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched watch television all weekend. Very good. Okay. Um, here is and then I visited my parents. Parents, no parents. Parents, okay. Parents. Okay. Let's see who's next. Next is Carla Cano and and Carla Torrente. Okay, the pair. Okay, Carla Cano, you start, please. Okay. Hi, Carla Torrento. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and Kierna uh, cleaned the clean. laundry. And chop it. Chop. And chop. 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 Okay. And they I visit visited. My parents. Visited. Visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Very good, very good. Um, I was gonna say something, what was that? I forgot. Oh, uh, I, I, have, I have been listening to you guys and you don't pronounce exercise in the past. Exercise, you say exercise. No, exercise. Emphasis on the, on the ED, all right? Exercise. Okay, let's see who's next. Let's see. Okay, Rodrigo, and oh me. You start, Rodrigo. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Mm, no, no, no. Did you have? Did, did you, you have? have? One more time, please. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Very good. Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little bit tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. 
Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you on the Sunday? One more time, please. So what did you on the Sunday? No, what did you do? So what did you do on Sunday? Ah, uh, sorry, 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 okay. sorry. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study and just watch it. Television watched. all... What? Watch. Watch television all weekend. Good. I didn't study. The, the verb is study. Okay, a study. You, uh, I listen that you guys don't pronounce very good choice. So it's study. Study. Uh, yo, yo tengo una pregunta. Okay. Study is in presente. Yes, it is the base. Wait, y, it's the base y, form. Y pasa, y el pasado? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Let me show you. Uh -huh. uh, okay, uh -huh. study, it is in the present or we call it the base form, la forma base, and also the simple present. So, study. So, we, we, can, we can change it to all the tenses that we already know, present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present. So, what is in, 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 in present continuous? What is, what is studying? studying? No. Uh, studying. No. Studying. See? Studying. Studying. Everybody, studying? Yes. Studying. 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 It's just like the base form. We only add ing. We, we, we do the pronunciation, the ing. For example, study, study in. So, study in. Everybody? Study? Studying. 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 You don't have to say studying. gin. Don't say gin. It's studying. So, studying. Studying. Everybody? Studying. 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 Good, good, good. So, what is uh, in simple future? Simple future? <laughs> you forget, you, you didn't practice yesterday, huh? Or today? Or the going, I'm going to, going to a study. study. Going to a study. Going to a study. Simple going past? Simple past? We just I, I studied. I studied. Studied. Very good. Studied. And simple present? Studied. Simple present? Study. Study. I study. I study. I study. I study. Good. Study. Okay. So let's continue with the other thing because we need to finish that. Okay. Um. Right now I'm going to go and get the next topic. So these topics are emphasis on, on, on the simple past. So everything is going to be there for the simple past. So we're going to go with um, pronunciation, simple past ED. That's 4.6. And another thing, guys, I need to tell you that you need to go level doing your homework with the things that we're doing. Right now we're doing 4.6 pronunciation, uh, simple pass ED ending. So let's see. Let's see. Listen up. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, 
or it sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. N okay, so now, as you can see, we have different types of pronunciation, but the thing is that all of them are going to be causing the pronunciation at the end, like emphasis, make, make the force like a little T. For example, check this out. Everybody with me, after me. Wanted. 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 Needed. 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 Helped. 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 Help. Help. Looked. 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 Remember to, to, to make at the end a little pronunciation like the letter T. Hagan como una pronunciación que, que termine con un, un sonido de T, de letra T, okay? So let's go. Watched. 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 What? Laughed. 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 Breathed. 
Offered. 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 Damaged. Damaged. Damage. Love. Love. Used. 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 Followed. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. 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 Very good. So these things are, are, are looking like, um, let me just explain something with this, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, when, when pronouncing the simple past, it's going to get like, um, first, you're going to go very slow, you know, repeating, repeating, but then it's going to get natural. For example, me, I, I just continue, but I can, I can talk in simple past, but my pronunciation is deferred because my practice is, you know, really quick. So that's going to take you a little bit of form. So that means that you're going to practice slow and then later you're going to get fast and fast. Okay. Um, questions about simple past things? No? Okay. Let's no, move on. Let's move on and we're going to see the next thing that we have. Like I said, um, this is only about the simple pass. So let's see. Let's go to the next one. Like I said, we're going to finish um, section number four. The section number four is all about the simple pass. Okay, pronunciation, simple with regular verbs. This one. Okay, here it comes. Okay, simple past statements with irregular verbs. Remember that in simple past we have regular verbs and we also have irregular verbs. So, uh, what is a statement? Do you remember what is a statement? Yes. What is it? Aceleración. Aceleration. Very good. Don't forget. Don't forget because we're going to use it with all of the tenses. Here we go. Can everybody see this? Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay, let's pay no. attention to this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. 
and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did, finally we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present, do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. So it's time to practice. Statements, irregular. Okay, so with this irregular verbs, we're going to start practicing. So, for example, in the negative for, let me see here, yeah, in the negative for I did my homework, what is the question? What is the question for I did my homework or I didn't do laundry? So we're going to find the questions in simple past. Did you, did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Everybody? Did you did do, you do homework? your homework? So the answer would be? I didn't. I, no, impossible. Yes, I impossible. did my homework. Yes, I did my homework. Very good. Everybody, yes, I did my homework. Yes, yes, I did, I did my, my homework. homework. My homework. Good. And so, what would be the negative? No, I didn't. No, do I didn't my homework. No. I didn't. No, I do. didn't do my homework. Very good. No, I didn't do my homework. Everybody. No, I didn't do. No, I didn't do my homework. Very good. So, what is the question in simple past for I didn't do the laundry? The question. Did you do the laundry? Very good. Did you do the laundry, everybody? Did, did, you, did, did you, do you do the laundry? laundry? Did you do the laundry? Good. So the negative answer is? I didn't do. Mm. No, I didn't. No, no I, didn't. I didn't do no, the laundry. Very good. No, I didn't do the laundry. No, I didn't do the laundry. Everybody. No, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, didn't do, do the, laundry. the laundry. I didn't do the laundry. Good. And what would be the positive answer? What would yes. be the positive? Uh -huh. Yes, I did laundry. The laundry. Yes, I did the laundry. Everybody? Yes, I did the laundry. 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 Very good. Let's go for number two. The question, uh, the answer, the first answer is you got up at noon. T so, t teacher. Yes. So, uh, en, el, en el positivo, ¿por qué le quito el do? What do you mean? Uh, I, I, yes, I did. O, o, oh. o siempre si no, lo no, deja. No, no, no. In the positive, yes, I did the laundry. Yes, I did the laundry because here is the, the, the auxiliary. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. When it's positive, okay, yes, I did the laundry. But in negative, look, 
I didn't do, so we need the auxiliary. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. Okay, let's go to the number two. You got up at noon. So what is the question for this? What is the question in simple past? Did you... What did you it? get up at noon? Mm, mm, uh, it might be. I'm looking for another one. But what is noon? What is noon? I, I don't know. What does Medio it mean? Medio dia. Medio dia. Very, very good. At noon. So what is the question? I'm looking for, for another question. What time did you... Yes. Get up. Yes. What time did you get up? Everybody. What, what time did you uh, get up? What, what time did you get up, everybody? What, what time, time did you, time you, get, up? Did you get up? Good. So, positive answer? I got up at noon. Very good. I got up at noon, everybody. I got up at noon. I got up at noon. Wait, wait, wait. No, get up. Got up. Look at the got up. I got up at noon. I got up at noon. Okay, what would be the, the negative, negative answer? I didn't get up at noon. Yes, I didn't get up at noon. Everybody. I didn't, I didn't get up, get up, get up, at, get up noon. at noon. Very good. Okay, so let's go for number three. Uh, he went to the museum. So what is the question here? Remember that where, you, uh -huh. where yeah. did you go? Yeah, where did you go? That's good. Everybody, where did you go? Where did, where you, did, go? did you, go? you go? Where did you go? Where, where did, did, you go? Go? did you go? Where did you go? Very good. So, positive answer? I went to the museum. I went to the museum. Very good. I went to the museum. Everybody? I went, I went to, the went to the, museum. the museum. Very good. Negative answer? No, I didn't, I didn't go, go to, to the museum. museum. Allí no le ponemos no, solo decimos, I didn't go to the museum. I didn't go to the I museum. I didn't go, go to, the to the museum. Museum, museum. 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 Okay, let's go to the next. We met our classmates. What is met? Es re saludar reunirse o conocer reunirse Cono o conocer Cono Cono this, this is a past of meet yes, that's the past of meet meet in present met past ok so, mm -hmm. what is the question ok what is the question for this one who uh, yes. Did you meet? Meet. Who meet? did you meet? Everybody, who did you meet? Who, who did, did you meet? You meet? Who did you meet? Very good. The answer positive. We meet our classmates. We met our classmates. We met. We met our classmates. We met. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. Uh, negative answer? We didn't meet our classmates. Very good. We didn't meet our classmates. Everybody? We, we, we didn't, didn't meet, meet our, our classmates. Class 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 okay, the next one is you came home late. Come, venir. In past, came. Come, present, came, past. Okay? So the pronunciation, come, Verbs. Came. Come. Come, came. Okay. Um, okay. Very good. So what is the question here um, for, for the past? What did you come late? No. What did you come late? When did you, did you come, come home, home late yesterday? Mm, no. What did you came? No. 
No. Did you come late? Huh? What time did yes. you come? Yes, what time did you come? Everybody. What, what time, time did you, you come? come? Did you come? What time did you come? What time, what time did, did you, you come? come? Good. So, positive answer? I came home late. I came home late. Everybody, I came, I I came, came home late. late. I came home I late. I came home late. Very good. Negative answer? I, I didn't, didn't come. come. I didn't come late. Home yes. late. I didn't come home late. Everybody. I, I didn't, didn't come, come, home come late. home late. Home late. Let's go to the last one. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. So have, tener, had in the past. Have, had. Okay. So, what is that question here? Um, what did you do? Okay, what did you do? Yes, what did you do? Everybody? What, what, did, what, you what did, you do? did you do? Good, a positive answer? I have a, a picnic. I had a picnic. I had I a picnic. Had a Everybody? Picnic. I had a picnic. I, I had a picnic. Negative answer? I didn't I, have a picnic. Yes, I didn't have a picnic. Everybody. I didn't have a picnic. I didn't, I didn't have, have a, picnic. a picnic. Very good. Okay, let's go for the last thing we have here. Let's see what, what is next. Teacher. Yes. The answer the 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 ask um podría ser um uh, what did I do? Oh yeah, you can say that. What did I do? So the answer would be you when you had a picnic in the park or you didn't have a picnic in the park. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Totally. It can be either, uh, you know, first person, second person or third person. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. Simple, fast, yes, no question. Let's check this out. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either 
positively by saying yes I did or negatively by saying no I didn't in our example we can see that the question was answered positively yes I did then extra information is given I had a great summer notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turned into had let's analyze one more question I'll choose the last one on this chart did Erica and her sister go to Colorado first we'll add the auxiliary did next we need to include the subject Erica and her sister after that we will add the verb in the present tense go I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did finally we add a compliment and a question mark to Colorado to answer this question we can answer either positively by saying yes they did or negatively by saying no they didn't in our example we can see that it is answered by saying no they didn't then extra information is given they went to Arizona notice that the verb now changed to the past tense go turned into went now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums good so as you can see he was talking about that same four things and remember that when using the auxiliary did the birds don't change okay let's see what is next and we have summer activities let's see the summer activities do you know what is summer guys Yes, teacher. What is it? Verano. Verano. Yes, very good. Summer activities. So let's check out this thing. Summer activities. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs go have meet play see take for example you can go hiking you can go swimming after that I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies for example and share your experience whenever you have finished share your work in our discussion forums cool so that was quick so only checking um checking out the, the verbs and the activities okay let's go for the last which is 4.16 weekend stories reading So this is, this should be a little reading, including the simple past. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
let me expand it and here we go hi everyone in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details we'll do this by reading an article title weekend stories weekend stories kelly i had a great weekend i went to my best friend helen's wedding she got married at home all her friends and family went she looked fantastic she wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony her parents served a wonderful meal i'm really happy for her and i really like her husband robert i had an awful weekend my friends and i went to a rock concert i had a terrible time it took three hours to drive there i didn't like the music at all and after the concert ended our car broke down i called my parents and they came and got us we finally got home at 10 this morning i am so tired aaron i had an interesting weekend i went camping for the first time my friends took me we left on saturday and drove to the campsite first we put up the tent then we built a fire cooked dinner and told stories we got up early on sunday and went fishing i caught a fish i didn't really like camping but i learned a lot good so we still have have time for this okay remember that we are doing that simple pass okay so let's see really quick okay okay uses with the oh no, no 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 that's not it i wanted a simple pass sorry my bad there is simple pass okay can everybody see this yes teacher very good that's going to be really quick okay let's see simple pass no there you go remember the questions okay what is the simple pass everybody what is the simple pass what is the simple pass what is the simple pass okay it's an action that started and ended in the past everybody it's an action that started and then the, 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 the past. Good. In the, in the past. How do we know that we're using the simple past? We know that how do how, do how do we know that we are using, we are the, using the simple past? Because we use the auxiliary leading questions and in the answers the verse in the past. Because, because we, we use, use, we use the auxiliary questions, questions and the answers in and the, past. the verse in the past. Answers, no answers. Answers, answers. Okay. Answers. 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 Very good. Okay, what is the general question for the simple past? What is the general question for the simple past? Simple past. What did you do? What did, what did, you, did you, do? you do? Very good. Okay, uh, remember the, the, the information question, right? So, remember we mm -hmm. were doing this uh, yesterday. I told you to practice this, okay? Uh, for example, what, what did you do? I did the laundry. What time did you do the laundry? I did the laundry at 3 p.m. Okay, did you do it? Okay, what I want you to do this weekend, you're going to do, wait, no. You're going to do all of this practice with all question information okay and then on on monday i'm going to ask you even all of this okay and if you have any questions write me in, in past ask. just in past no 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 the four tenses in four tenses okay yes. teacher is a test okay no, not a test, but I want you to practice because you need to get fluent. And uh, the way to get fluent is to practice. And you already know that you have four tenses that you need to practice. If you don't practice something, 
you're not going to be master of it, okay? So you need to practice, okay? Okay. 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 So it's time for me to go. Oh, also, I'm preparing another uh, type of, um, another kind of, of material, extra material that I'm going to send you over this weekend, okay? Okay. 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 Good job. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice night. Have a nice weekend too. Thank bye you. Bye. You too. Good See night. you for nice everyone. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday, teacher. Okay.